Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So from today, I am going to discuss about a, a new concept that is a automata theory. So this automata theory is also known as a theory of computation. So theory of computation, both are equal. Theory of computation. See, first let us know about this computation. What is meant by computation? So this computation means nothing but processing, right? Processing is called a computation. So processing, what, what processing? So processing the input towards the output, right? So in every device, there will be a low level calculations that we call it as an abstract machine, abstract machine or, or a model. We can simply call it as a model. So this abstract machine will take the input and it will produce some sort of output, some sort of output. For example, consider some switch, some switch, right? So by default, it will be in the off state, off state, right? So if you push the switch, if you push the switch, automatically the state will be changed to the on state on state so this is one sort of uh, model right one sort of model for example if you take a microwave oven so if you switch on that microwave oven by default it will be in the idle state right so when you open the door you can observe some sort of light will be activated so that means it will be changing its state from idle to ready to run ready to run right so whatever the device it may be it takes some input and it will produce some output and the low level implementation of all these process we call it as abstract machine or a model and definitely these type of abstract machines and model will be used to implement the algorithms efficiently and this abstract machines or model we call as automata this abstract machine or a model we call it as a automata that means a low level implementations right and this automata if this model or a machine implements in a finite number of states then it is called a finite automata right so if the process i mean if the machine or a model is implemented within a finite number of states that is called a finite automata so here uh, we can say that finite automata is the abstract model or a mathematical model which uh, takes the input and processes it and gives the output. And here you can see what are the applications? What are the applications? So where we can use this theory of computation? So simply you can say first one is a design of compiler. So in the designing of compiler, we are going to use this automata theory. So I will tell you an example. So where exactly we will use this design? So the first phase of the compiler is called a lexical analyzer. Right? So you all know about the compiler. So compiler is a translator, language translator. So we are writing the programs in a high level language and those programs will be converted into a low level that is a machine level. So that process will be done by the compiler itself. So first the compiler will check each and every instruction of the program with the rules set by the compiler. If any instruction violates the rule, automatically it will send the error that's called a syntax error or a compiler errors. Right? Even we can call it as a parser errors. Right? So here the compiler, the first phase is a lexical analyzer. So which will convert the program into tokens. It will divide the tokens of a program. So a token is an individual unit of a compiler. Right? So in this lexical analyzer, we are going to use this automata theory. And the next one is pattern matching. 
pattern matching. So best example for this pattern matching means, so we need to give some passwords in the registration, right? Uh, during the registration of any sort of online accounts. So there you can see some sort of rules while giving the password. So that means the password length should be some eight, minimum of eight characters and one character should be the uppercase letter and there should be at least one special case symbol and there should be one digit. So all these constraints. So we need to compare, so that means if you give the password which matches with all the constraints, then only it will be accepted. So that sort of pattern matching, so if doesn't matches, automatically we'll get error. That means if the password which you have given was not accepted by the machine, right? So that type of pattern matching also will use this automata theory. And the third one is a spell check. Spells. So this type of option will be seen in almost uh, all the applications. So we are supposed to give some words and that word will be compared with the registered words. And if there is any mismatch on that words, automatically it will give an error or any highlight thing, right? So that means it will check whether the words given are similar with the registered words. So that means in all these cases, in all these cases, it will check whether the given input is a valid input or invalid input. So in the pattern matching also, it will check whether valid or invalid. In the spell check is also, it will process whether it is a valid or invalid. In the compiler also, so it will divide into tokens. So a token is an individual unit of a program. For example, if you take any program, so the program will be having the identifiers, operators, okay uh, data types and all these things so these are all called as a tokens and the compiler will be set some sort of rules so we have to uh, write the program with following the, that particular rules so it will compare each and every term with that particular rules so and it will return whether it is a valid or invalid so these are the few applications that can where we can use this automata theory right now so mainly this automata theory covers with the three concepts. The first one is automata. That means developing a model, developing a model which takes the input and process and it will which gives the output. And then computability. So whether the process or the machine can accept the input or not. So whether the machine can process the input or not. So the ability of computing, it will check the ability of computing, right? And the third one is a complexity. So for every problem, there will be a many solutions, number of solutions. So here we have to accept the optimal solution. That means the solution with a low complexity or a less complexity. So these are the three main terms we are going to see in this automata theory. Automata, computability and the complexity. So in this session, we have seen what is the automata. That means the abstract machine or a model, mathematical model. So which, which is used to write the algorithms very efficiently and implementing the automata with a finite number of steps, steps is called a finite automata and the applications of automata theory. So where we are going to use this automata theory and what are the central concepts, what are the main concepts which we are going to cover in this automata that is automata, developing an automata, computability and the complexity. Right. So let's stop here. So this is a complete introduction about automata theory. So we'll stop here and uh, if you enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.